The Sober Scientific Nexa is our latest XPS system. It combines high quality XPS with multiple techniques such as reels and ISS. So for a typical semiconductor lab, XPS can be used in failure analysis or product development. Semiconductor device performance is related to the thickness of the high K material, for example, and that can be measured with XPS. Scientists studying semiconductors uh, want accurate results, of course, but perhaps more importantly, they want repeatable results and precision. Uh, the high sensitivity of an EXA is one of its features that drives that precision. XPS measures photoelectron intensity and not thickness directly, but by building a model in the Avantar software, we can take that photoelectron information and convert it into a film thickness. Modern semiconductors are becoming more and more complex, and so you can't actually do a full and comprehensive analysis with just one technique. In order to characterize it fully, you need to have multiple techniques. Uh, XPS, of course, which gives you uh, composition uh, and chemical bonding information. Reels, which gives you band gap information, for example. ISS, which can give you information from a top monolayer and give you a coverage analysis. And another technique we're very excited about is having a combination of Raman on there which can give you vibrational structural information complementary to XPS. So if you're depositing something like a hafnium oxide with an atomic layer deposition, and you're building up the layers uh, cycle by cycle, using XPS, you can measure how much material is deposited. And as we just discussed, you can measure how thick the films are. With ion scattering spectroscopy, ISS, you can measure whether you have a complete film or if you have partial coverage of the high-K material. And using reels, you can measure the band gap of the film as it grows in thickness. So with NEXA, scientists are going to be able to acquire data much more quickly, more, with more precision, more reliably, uh, give you higher throughput, and they're also going to be able to do a much more comprehensive analysis on a, during a single experimental run.